welcome back to another episode of 100 Baby SMP. And I don't know why I'm wearing this funny skirt, but it looks cool, so whatever. And today is very special because today is Christmas on the SMP. It's Christmas, and I am so excited. Look at all of the presents. They're all, cr or, not the presents. Look at all of my chests. They're all Christmas presents, and it, it's so cute. Oh no, like half of my family just disappeared. Okay, they all teleported back. I was gonna say, my family is still in here because I had brought them all in here for Thanksgiving. But then I came back in here and they're all gone, but it's okay because I think they all teleported back to their home places except for these few and that chicken. So I do have this baby named Turkey who is ready to grow up in less than a minute. Where did my book go? I swear I had a book um, with all of my baby names in it or is this that in my inventory? This is it. Okay, so turkey was baby number 12. I'll put that back on my shelf right here. That's where I keep it. And turkey, are you ready to grow up now? Let's put you down. No, come on, hurry up. It's Christmas, baby. You have to be born. There you are. There you are, turkey. Uh, stay here. Sit at home. And I guess let's go have another baby. So since this is Christmas, I'm going to have a special Christmas theme. So Chris, Christmas, duh. If it's a girl, I'll name it Christine, and then if it's a boy, I'll name it Chris. So here we go. Hello, wife. Oh, you are glitching out. Oh, it's a girl. Okay, so I'm gonna spell it like Christmas. So it's like Chris and then Ian. <laughs> so there we go. Baby number 13, our little Christmas baby. And I just realized I'm a vampire. I need to eat. I need some blood. Do vampires even celebrate Christmas? I, I don't I don't really know if they do, um, but I am a vampire and I'm celebrating Christmas, so I guess they do. At least this vampire celebrates Christmas. So I heard there are some things at spawn that we can do. So I see a Christmas tree right here. Oh my gosh, I love like the, I forget what this is called, but it looks so cool on this Christmas tree. That is so cute. So there's all these chests down here. Who are these for? Um, this one's to Ash. This one's for Lex. This one, oh, this is for Katie. Uh, well, I'm the only Katie that I know, so here we go. Oh, this, this book is from Fudgy. And then there's some other foods in here that I can't even eat yet because I'm still a vampire. But oh my gosh, there's a little R2-D2. I love him so much. And a bunch of other blue things. That is so cute. I'm gonna leave the rest of that stuff in there, but I will come back once I have more inventory space and I will save them until I can eat food again. And then there's also this giant Christmas tree over here. This one looks so cool. I'm not really sure who built this one, but I guess we'll figure it out. It says it is the gift tree. <gasps> and there is everyone's heads. Everyone has their own little gift and here is mine. Oh, so we got a bread slice, a sausage, cup of tea, blackberry juice, Milk and cookies, we're gonna put that at home. Some more food, and then it says happy holidays from Emma. Or are these all from Emma? Well, thank you so much, Emma. I wonder if she is the one who built this whole thing or not. Uh, don't peek until Christmas, thanks for the gifts. Well, um, it, it's not Christmas yet, but it's it, it's gonna be in a few days. So I'm sorry I peeked, <laughs> I didn't see the sign. Um, let's go home and put all of this stuff in my house because I got some cool Christmas gifts. And then I think that we can do like a little secret Santa thing. So let me put these flowers down that I got and then we have an R2D2 and milk and cookies and then some blue sheep that I can go put in our barn. I'm gonna put these milk and cookies right there and then the little R2D2 will go, how about right here on top of our crafting table or can I do that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at little R2D2. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. I would love it even more if it's a BB-8, but I don't think they have that quite yet in Minecraft, so yeah. Um, I guess first, before we head into spawn, uh, we should probably get some stuff. This is all either stuff. We should get some stuff to put in the Secret Santa because I think that we get to pick a person to give a gift to, so I'm just gonna grab some random stuff that I have. Of course, I always have eggs. Everyone always gets eggs for me because that is my favorite thing in Minecraft. Ooh, orange autumn sapling. I bet that's a really pretty tree. I wonder if that's the tree that grows out here. Ooh, what is this? Maple syrup, okay. We can get rid of that. Get rid of some arrows. I probably need to grab a chest too 
uh, to put the gifts in. Or you know what? Actually, I'll just I'll just take all this stuff out of the chest that was given to me, and then I'll use that chest, and we will recycle and save the planet. <laughs> and then how about some melons? Everyone loves melons. That's a great gift, I think. So I think I have enough now. Let's go find out who I'm giving a gift to. Oh, but first, uh, I, I keep getting sidetracked. Let's put the sheep in the barn here. Oh, it looks like we have a pet zombie. That is great. So we have some light blue sheep that we can put right there. They are so cute. I don't want to eat them. The little eat symbol comes up. I haven't checked on our chicken farm in a while, but it looks like it's going pretty well. I totally forgot to put these nesting pens on this side which would probably be more beneficial than they are on this side, but you know what, it's fine. We can deal with that. I'll, I'll get some nesting pens on the other side eventually. Mashed potato, I don't have a home point. Oh wow, mashed potato, I'm coming to save you. Where are you, mashed potato? Come here, follow me. I will take you to a home point that can be your home. Come here, oh my gosh. You look just like your Thanksgiving brother. You're like Thanksgiving twins. <gasps> that's like the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, but mashed potatoes are a little bit older, but that's okay. All right, so now onwards to spawn where I can figure out who I'm giving a secret Santa gift to. So I think there's little buttons over here. Oh, okay, so there's a, a book that we can read, Secret Santa. Hello all members, it's me, Fudgy, from the Southwest team. I've decided to create a secret Santa for all you lovelies. Uh, use one of the dispensers to get a name. Once you receive the name, keep it a secret. Once that's done, collect gifts. But you thought it'd be that easy? Ha, no. Once you have been given the player's name, you must base their gift off their favorite color. Merry Christmas. Have fun. <gasps> that's why we got so many blue things. I didn't even realize that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we might have to go pick some different gifts. Um, and I don't really know everyone's favorite color, but we can probably guess. So I'm really drawn to this third one right here. Oh my god, Fudgy! Oh wait, this is like kind of perfect because I think Fudgy's favorite color might be brown. I mean, their name is Fudgy and Fudge is brown. Well, I guess Chocolate Fudge is brown. I'll go check out their channel and see what colors they use a lot. <laughs> okay, actually Fudgy's like aesthetic on their channel is like rainbow. Um, so I'm just gonna go with the brown theme because, you know, Fudgy is brown. <laughs> that's, that's really lame. But um, I'm sorry, Fudgy, if your favorite color is not brown, but I grab mostly brown things. So you're getting a brown Christmas present. Ooh, should I give him the manure? The manure is brown too. No, I'm not going to be that mean. I have too much stuff in my inventory. Oh, I have some hot cocoa too. And then I, Fudgy uses a lot of yellow on their channel too. So we'll put some yellow, some gold in there for that. I'm just really pulling at stuff, trying to find a good gift. And then why not? Let's put some orange flowers in there so it's like kind of brown kind of orange kind of yellow you know i think that's i think that's good enough i'm sorry if i got your favorite color wrong fudgy but i don't know what your favorite color is and it's too late to ask you oh i totally forgot to put the sign on that i'm a failure i <laughs> i was just heading back home and i realized i have this sign so no one even knows who that gift is for <laughs> okay there we go now fudgy knows that gift is for them um, I'll go home now and put all of this food away. I'm just like hoarding all of this yummy food that I can't eat yet because I'm a vampire and obviously vampires can't eat food um, or they can only eat blood. So I really love blueberry stuff too. That's like really cool. Uh, I'll put all of this blueberry flavored stuff in here. I don't think I have any other food in my inventory right now other than the blood that, you know, kind of need to survive oh and christine's almost ready to grow up so we can go plop her down in a minute oh there she is oh my gosh i love this skin this one's so cute so stay here and then set home and i am going to go have a another child and this time i will take a name from the comment section of my last video so let's see is it going to be a boy or a girl oh it's a boy okay so i'm gonna go find a comment and then i'll come back when i have a name Ooh, okay, so this comment comes from someone called Do Not Change Your Name. <laughs> that, that's their name on YouTube. And they listed off a whole bunch of names. And the first name that I that caught my eye was the name Chase. And I really like that because the other name was like a CH name. So there we go. We have baby name Chase. Uh, he's probably already, yeah, he's like two minutes old by now because 
I was looking for a name for a while, but thank you for that comment. If you have any baby name suggestions, be sure to comment them down on this video because I only go back past one episode to pick baby names. So if you commented them before, please comment again and I will check them out. I have a tail too, I just realized. I don't know how to get rid of this little skirt, but that is okay, I suppose. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have a grandchild, Patricia the child who is the daughter of Edward and Jewel. So I knew Edward was married. Um, he's married to a guard, I think, named Jewel, who I've still never been able to find. Oh, are you one of my children too? Oh my gosh, I have two grandchildren that I didn't even know about. That is crazy. Um, but I've never been able to find Jewel. She has to be around here somewhere because obviously she's having kids with my son. Um, but I can't find her anywhere, which I think is hilarious. So this is Stephanie, Olivia, Amelia. I, I, I can't find Jewel. I don't know if she exists. Maybe. Oh, this is Jewel. Okay, I just had to look a little bit harder. So follow me. Um, I'm gonna make you like stand over here. I eventually want to build- why am I dying? Oh, cuz I'm hungry. That happens. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot that happened. Um, eventually I, I do want to build like a little home for Edward and Jewel and their children, I suppose. Um, but not today. Which this makes me kind of hesitant. Like I almost don't- why are you- why are you up next to my husband? He's married to someone else. Get away. Uh, what's your name? Get away, Amelia. Who's Ira? Why are all these people married and I don't know who they are? Leanne, Ryland, I, I don't know, I don't understand. Oh, this is, is this Ira? Ira the guard, okay. That's great, you're sleeping in my son's bed. Um, well, I'm a grandma, this is a Christmas miracle. I'm, I have two grandkids apparently, that's totally surprising. Uh, so what do you guys think? Do you think that I should build, uh, Edward and Jewel and their children their own home? Or should I just leave them be? in this big house because I don't know what to do with them. Jewel, why are you standing in the flowers? Do you like the pretty flowers? Um, I, I don't know what to do with the rest of my children because I kind of wanted to put them in that house over there, but if they're going to keep marrying guards, I almost don't want to. So I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think and come on, grow up already. Oh, seven minutes. Okay. We have to wait for this little baby to grow up and then we will see. It's been 10 minutes now so we can put down our baby. I forget his name. I think it was Chase. <gasps> yes, it is. And he looks like such a Chase too. So let's uh, set your home, get y'all set up. And I want to have one more baby. So hello. I think, we, I think we're think we still fiancés, right? Yeah, we need to get married eventually. Uh, we'll see about that. Oh, what is happening back there? I just see a health bar jumping around. So let's procreate one more time. And it is another boy. So another name from this comment that I like is Miles. So I'll be naming this baby Miles. Thank you for the comment again. And yeah, I guess with that, that's going to be it for this episode of 100 Baby SMP. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also comment down below those baby names because I need suggestions. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.